Hey everyone, so let's do a quick tutorial on how to make the animal controller work with the timeline feature from Unity. So right here I have a simple cutscene, so when I get near this obstacle, the animal is going to jump and then I can continue the gameplay. So let's see how I did this. So I'm going to create a new scene and I'm going to add a new test scene right here and I'm going to use the wolf light so let me prepare real quick some cube that I can use as an obstacle and I'm going to add an empty game object that I'm going to use as the activation zone Let's so, and this will have the playable director that will contain the timeline asset. So let's add it. I'm going to add it on the assets. Let's use right here this, and I'm going to add the wolf light as an animation track, and I'm going to use some animations. So let me find the animations for the wolf. Right here, I'm going to add a sneak. Let me set it right here. Let's go back to this zone timeline. Let me save it. Let me lock it so we can keep working on it. And I'm going to add the sneak animation. And the first problem you will see th is that the animal is not using the root motion so this is due to the animal using own animator move for the logic of the controller so to fix this we need to go to the to fix this we need to add the timeline fixer animator move timeline fixer component that would help us to do root motion with timeline and the animal controller now let's keep adding animations let me add a simple trot right here so let me match the previous offset let me add a jump where are the jumps a run jump right here let me match the previous clip and what else do we need let me add a new trot animation right here let's match the previous clip you'll see that we need to do some adjustments so let's let's click this button right here to match the offset something like this Perfect, and we're going to end with an idle. What are the idols? Yes, right here. Something like this, match previous clip. Let's fix it again, something like this. Perfect. And right about here is going to end this cutscene. Perfect what else we can do let's add a cinemachine camera a virtual camera right about here and we're going to look to the wolf light and i'm going to add a cinemachine track with the brain camera and this virtual camera and right here we'll have this cutscene now right now if I hit play the cutscene is enabled it is enabled well this happens because the thing is that the animal can be controlled while doing this cutscene so we need to disable that 
So in the cutscene, we need to add the timeline manager and this will invoke this timeline event. So when the cutscene is enabled, the animal can't be controlled. So right here, you will see, you can add it by going to the animal, create event listeners, and it will add this timeline event. And instead of sending the animal to sleep, we're going to use animal set timeline. And now if we hit again, you will see that the animal cannot be controlled while it's on this timeline. Also in the camera that we added to the cutscene, let's set the priority to zero. And right here, we're going to ease the exit duration. And now let's try this again. Perfect. And now we can control the animal again. But we only want to enable this when we are near this obstacle. So here on this zone, we're going to add a trigger, proxy, trigger, trigger proxy. And we're going to search for the animal layer. And we also need a box collider and a gizmo visualizer so we can see better the zone right here let's set it something like this perfect now when we trigger this zone we're going to trigger this cutscene so let's set it to trigger and when a game object enters I'm going to enable the playable director. So I'm going to playable director that play. This will not be played on awake, only with when the zone is triggered. What else do we need? Let's see, we're going to disable this box collider so we can only use it once. And I think that's all. So let's try this again. We're moving the wolf. But if we get near this zone, the cutscene is played. And then we're going to control the wolf again. And that's it. That's how you can do timeline with the animal controller.